HS family, we're the Strongs and we're here to do Habdala with you this evening. Uh, before we get started with our ceremony, I've wanted to explain a little bit more about what Habdala is. And uh, I took some notes from a book that I was reading from one of my classes from a while back called To Pray as a Jew by Donan. So this is where I got the information from in case you're wondering. And um, here are my notes. Um, Havdalah is a declaration, a public declaration of the holiness of God. It's a home ritual. It became a home ritual. And it's an extension of Kiddush, okay? And Kiddush comes from the word Kedushah. And Kedushah is holiness. And so that's part of the Amidah, um, the part where you say kadosh, 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 referring to the holiness of God, okay, calling the Lord holy. And um, also we know from Isaiah 6.3, this also exists in Isaiah 6.3, and also in Revelation 4, 8 through 11, where day and night the angels never stop saying, holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty. So I thought that was very nice, a little background there. On the prayer also as part of the Amidah and as part of a ritual the ritual um, we start by asking the Lord for knowledge understanding and discernment and so I, I really love that because we start our week asking for knowledge understanding and discernment and we're starting our new year so um, and starting the new civil year it's, this seems appropriate to have this subject in Havdalah asking for knowledge, understanding, and discernment. And we have here the three uh, wicked candle, or the, the braided candle here for the, the light. Um, and so it's referred to in the plural in the prayer. And the reason that it is is just to point to the fact that God gives us a lot of um, freedom and uh, free, freedom and creativity, but ultimately the light belongs to God. But we can, we can emulate his light, we can create light, we can be creative and, and do a lot of good. And so um, the blessing also comes from various places in Isaiah, Psalms, and in Esther 8.16. A specific part, the one that we're about to read soon in Hine El Yeshuati, um, the specific part from Esther says, The Jews had light and joy, gladness and honor, so be it with us, we say together. So the word in Hebrew, Yehudim, refers to the Jews as the only place in the prayer book that has the word Yehudim in all other and all of the references to the Jews is uh, Yisrael. And so that, that's what I had that I wanted to share with you. Also, um, the last part of the Havdalah, which is the, the, the Hamavdil that we, that we sing, there are three distinct Havdalot, or three distinct separations that are being spoken of. One is from Leviticus 10.10, 10 between the holy and the everyday. And one is from Genesis 1-4, separation between light and darkness. And then the third one comes from Leviticus 20, 26, between Israel and the nations. So the separations imply different levels of holiness. So with the Havdalah ceremony, in using all of our senses, and touching the cup and tasting the wine, in smelling the besamim, smelling the fragrance, in seeing the light when we light the candle and we put our, our hands up to the light and our fingernails, we see the reflection of the light in our fingernail beds, hearing, seeing the light. Hearing the fire crackle? <laughs> <laughs> sure, it could be, yeah, it's, it's anything, all of it, the whole thing, the sensory. Okay, and then applying the mind, applying our mind to understanding the separations that I just spoke of, um, just causes us, or it just serves to, to help us consecrate our senses 
to God at the beginning of each week. So that's what it says in the Donin book. So I, I really like that idea of um, consecrating our senses, consecrating our minds, consecrating our entire being to God going forward into the, the week. And we feel a little sad when we are taking leave of Shabbat and we, we're we going through Abdallah because we have this wonderful time where we're communing with God and we're, we're spending time in his special time in his presence on Shabbat. And so the Besa Mim is supposed to invigorate our senses by smelling the Besa Mim. We shouldn't feel so sad, right? So um, I think we'll start now, but I just wanted to give you a little bit of, of background. And also when we, like, it is important to say the Hamavdil at the end of saying the blessing for the wine, for the spices, and for the fire, your torch here, because um, you're, 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 you're declaring a separation between the sacred and the, the profane. And so that's the Hamav deal, and that comes after you'll hear. So first we're going to sing Hine El Yeshua Ti, and you, and then you'll hear us sing for the, these things here. And then we'll end with Hamav deal. And then after that, thank you. <laughs> and then after that, we will, um, we will sing Eliyahu Hanavi, and then we'll sing Shavua Tov. Wishing you a good week and a good year since it's a civil new year and happy new year. Okay, so you're ready to start? Yep. Oh. 
Amen. Amen. I forgot to read Hine El Yeshua T in English. So I'm going to read it in English just so you can understand what we read. Okay? So it says, Behold, God is my salvation. I will trust and not be afraid. For God the Lord is my strength and my song, and he has been my salvation. You will draw, joyfully draw water from the wells of salvation. Salvation belongs to the Lord. Your blessing is upon your people, Salah. The Lord of legions is with us. The God of Jacob is a stronghold for us, Salah. O Lord of legions, contentment awaits any man who trusts in you. O Lord, save. May the king answer us on the day we call. For the Jews there was light and gladness, joy and honor. So may it be for us. I will lift the cup of salvations and I will call on the name of the Lord. I just wanted to read that so you could understand what we were singing in Hebrew. So now we'll sing Shavuot <laughs> Tov. Shavuot Tov, Shavuot Shavuot well, I hope that everyone has a really good week going forward, and this is the first week of the new civil year, so Happy New Year to everyone at VHS, and uh, we hope to see you soon.